three awesome DJI products that may be happening and that maybe DJI is working on them and I'm super excited. Let's go inside. I've got a feeling, I've really got a feeling for 2021 being a great year in terms of tech products, especially for DJI. And we know that 2020 has been a tough year. I really hope you that guys, you've been flying a lot of your drones and that you've been working on what makes you happy, hopefully. But I've got a feeling. I've been reading my horoscope and it says, let me see, I am Leo and you're not... Huh? You're not a magician. It is important that you are honest with yourself and accept that you don't have control about what's going to happen. Look for new paths, whatever. Well, it looks like I have no idea what's coming, but I'm going to try for this video. As you may know, in the past months, we're super excited about the new upcoming chapters of this mega series named Osita Ali. I mean, this guy, I, I really love it or woman or whatever because it brings us new content it really is not leaks anymore it's like truth happening in, in the future so i'm super excited to always check on that twitter account to see what is happening but i've been recently taking a look at his feed or her feed and i've seen a couple of things that i didn't remember back in the past months when i saw them and that are truly exciting let me talk about the first one this one this is quite exciting huh what is it, a plane? Is it a boat? Is it a U-boat? A what the hell is it? Well, we do guys think that it is something about Robomaster, as you can see the top logo on this uh, sketch. And we're actually thinking that this may be like the new Robomaster, the second part or something, really kind of the same direction for learning, for trying to build for your kids, for you, if you do care about building up stuff. I mean, do you remember the Robomaster, the first version, that little thing that was capable of shooting and taking and burning your eyes? Yeah, that was us. As we can see on this leak, uh, we don't really think that it's something that is actually going to be flying. Probably not, I mean. But it's something that looks like it can be underwater. Do you imagine a product by DJI that is capable of going on the lakes or, you know, um, underwater and film great 4K footage? That would be really great. I mean, I don't know the size exactly of this thing, but if provisions keep coming for the drone world, I'm pretty sure DJI is capable of going other paths in order to not, you know, to still make the cash cash. I mean, honestly, do you imagine DJI having a product that I don't know if it can work on the sea because of the salt in the water and all that, but imagine in rivers or in lakes that you can actually film fishes and rocks underwater and you can do actually some snorkeling or stuff. I mean, I'm kind of excited for this. And if this is happening, do you know where I live? Send me one, please. And for the second product, I don't want to keep it longer, but I'm super excited for this one. Look at this! I mean, have you seen this? Aren't you excited? I mean, I've said it for quite some time now. DJI has been working on cameras for the past five or six years. And in the previous Mavic 2 Pro version, we saw that they actually kind of made a deal, purchased Hasselblad, a really awesome, good lens and camera company and we know that they are working on the... I mean, I don't know what exactly, but after seeing these leaks, I mean, aren't you excited? If you do remember the Inspire 2, we also reviewed that with the X7. It was interchangeable lenses, really awesome raw video that you could do with that. Why are they not doing a camera? And I'm laughing now because a year ago I said, a camera, an FPV drone, guys, why are you not doing this? And it seems like DJI may be finally releasing the FPV drone. So for me, the next step is this awesome camera. I mean, we've seen it on the Osmo Action, on the Pocket 2. The drones all have their own cameras. Why are you not doing a cinema camera? You know, a pocket cinema camera. I mean, that would be definitely from DJI. I, I, I take it, I take it. You've got my attention, you've got my money, you've got everything from me. I mean, I don't know exactly. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Inspire, how it is built and the design. And also about the leaks we've seen from the FPV drone. It kind of looks like that too. I mean, I'm not an expert, but there is a big giant red button. And I mean, red buttons are for pushing those buttons and start filming, right? So you could attach this to a Matrice or, or an Inspire or something like that. But I want to push that button. But also, if you take a closer look at this 
pictures, you'll see that there are tons of buttons that remind us of uh, cinema cameras, you know, switches and all those buttons to tweak and change stuff. The only thing that kind of confuses me a little bit is that arm. I don't know exactly what that would be for, but I'm happy to see what you guys think. And finally, finally, I show you this aberration. I mean, I don't really know what that is and it is super strange and super rare. Rare? Rare. I mean, let's go step by step. I am taking a look at this and I really... It reminds us of some kind of GoPro or action camera, right? But that gimbal and that pocket cam and that LCD screen, that arm that you can... That is like retractable and all that. I, I don't know what that is. Honestly, I really don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like the Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket spent a nice night at a hotel and then this came nine months later. <laughs> But it still is interesting. <laughs> I mean, I don't really understand the concept of putting together all these two things, these two cameras. But the only thing I can think of is something like an action camera with a mechanical gimbal. Something like this. I don't know, but it is interesting though. Somehow the way of getting your action camera, you know, attaching it and skiing with it and then taking it off, putting that pocket cam out and starting vlogging as if it was a pocket too. I mean, the idea is great. I just don't know if that is possible. And that was all for today. I mean, this kind of videos are exciting because um, they let us dream of new things coming and I always think that it is good to create content about um, things. I mean, I'm not coming up with things in my mind. It's something that we've seen in the past that Osita is pretty right on all its leaks and everything that is happening. So I like creating content like this and seeing the numbers that our videos have made in the past weeks or months about this kind of content, they have worked and they have created engagement. So I'm happy to do that. And overall they show us that DJI is a company that never rests and they, they keep going, they keep doing stuff, they keep coming up with stuff and I'm pretty sure there are tons of projects that have not been released that we would have been really great and happy to see. I mean cameras or some kind of drones or whatever, I'm pretty sure. And finally my horoscope. Chivo said that I should talk about horoscopes. I don't really know why but um, he said yeah you should talk about horoscopes. It's always fun to see videos about horoscopes. And this is the actual Chivo's voice when he talks to me on the phone and he said that my horoscope this week is not pretty good so I'm gonna lock down, lock up myself in this studio, watch videos and have fun. Nothing really else to say guys, always remember to keep calm and talk UAV. Leave a thumb!